Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to another video and in today's video, um, I know I haven't uploaded in a while, but I'm going to be doing a tackle box, like going over what's in my tackle box, what like my favorite lures are, what I have, you know, what I have and what, and how I have it organized. So yeah, um, I have two tackle boxes. I have the first one here is a just a regular plano tackle box. It's camouflage. First off, let's start with the side pockets. These little side pockets. Um, and this one I have my scale. Scale. Focus. And then the thing that grips the fish's mouth to weigh it on the scale. That's my first, that's the first pocket. Um, I don't have anything in the front pouch here, but I do have some, um, I have the gulp worms, or whatever they are, either, you know what they are, um, yeah, I've used those a couple of times, they seem to work really good actually, they're supposed to imitate fish and smell like fish, so, um, and then this side bucket I got, uh, I, it doesn't work that good. I got it on sale though. It's bass attractant, and then I got two things of line, extra line. This isn't my good line, but it's still line. Um, let's get this back up. In the back pocket here, I just got some like extra rage worms just sitting back there. I actually had to put those in, but I don't have those in there right now. Oh yeah, and I can't forget the good old frog, you guys can probably see it, yeah, down there in the side pocket. Okay, now let's get to the inside. So, um, my top, I got a hook remover, you latch on, has like little things on the side, it's not that, it doesn't work that good. I gotta find my other one, I don't know where it's at, but this is a roller, or a tape measure, and it's, it has a it has a scale but I have the other one but that's kind of like a backup so that's that um okay let's get into the first okay so like I said this is my soft plastics but um up here I'll just show you guys up here in the top left that's where I have the, they're like little worms, then I have like little, uh, I don't know what those are, I'm pretty sure they're some kind of, they're almost like crawfish type things, and I got, yum, more of those same things, more kind of all bagged up plastics so I'll show you guys here there as you guys can see there we get a bunch of different soft plastics mainly just worms um, for like Texas rig Senkos and stuff we do have these though um, but I think everything else is just worms yeah everything else is just like Senkos I think basically third one we got some these are more like these are like imitating fish but we do have some Sankos right in the bottom there up there right there so what's that okay we do have some more we have uh, more fish up there. We have some more gulp worms, but all the gulps going out of it. And then we have some more little imitating fish with like little rattle worms, almost like rage worms, but not really rage worms. So that's my soft plastics. 
And uh, I'm gonna leave that open. I'll show you my cup, my favorite things to put together for fish. Um, so I'll spread the side pockets on this one. I don't have anything in that one. This one. The, uh, my second one is an ugly stick tackle box. And this is where I keep like sinkers and stuff and all my stuff that needs. I have the, the spider wire fluorocarbon here in the back. I think it's 14 pound, 15 pound test, sorry. 15 pound test. That's my go-to. I like floral the best. Okay, Carefully got a hook in there for some reason. That is good. I had a hook in there, guys. I almost hooked myself. It was just a tight on Sanko. Um, wasn't a very good combo. I think one of my friends were using it. But I got more golf worms in this one. This is my like hooks and stuff bag, so but I had to put golf worms in here to hold on there. Uh this is kinda like it's kinda like a it has like twenty-two tools in it, but it's like a get the hook out. It's kind of tough. But then you got like that. I don't know what that's for. But you got like, I don't know what that's for either. But yeah, like some cool stuff on it. You got another ruler on this, so to show you how long fish are, which is nice. That would be nice. Um, it's kind of like a pain though, because you gotta, but it's not bad. And then you got like knives and screwdrivers and stuff. It's kind of like, a, you guys have probably seen that before. Um, Okay, so that's in that's in the front pocket. Okay, and I showed you guys that. Okay, so let's get. Oh, and this thing, this one I really like this tackle box. It has like to where this shuts too, and they clamp on. If I can, these clamps right here clamp in to up there. You guys probably. probably All right, let's unzip this bad boy. Oh, see this isn't clear though so you can't see up there this is what it is though it's still nice um, okay. first tackle box this one's empty because I don't have that many gotta get more this summer though gotta get more lures and stuff okay so in this one I have my chatter bait my two chatter baits I gotta reorganize too but I have my two chatter baits um hooks big hooks that's almost like a texas rig i showed you you guys that's what i got from uh tackle mystery box or whatever i got uh 45 degree angle jig heads over here um regular hooks bigger hooks and some white jig heads so yeah that's in that one And this one I got my, I got two, um, the, I think that's almost the top, or, or that's, I don't know what these are, I think that one's like an 18, 20, 24 foot or something, that one right there, maybe 16, that one's like a 8 or so, but then I got like more hooks, jig heads, good, good stuff. And then in this one, it's kind of sad. All I got is the 16 and 18 foot diving crank. I think that's it. So I got, I have a spinner bait, a buzz, and a buzz bait uh, to already tied on to two of my combos that you guys will see eventually. So my go to, I really. This color chatterbait right here. That's chatterbait right there. I really like this color. But, however, I like this right here because it has already that little trailer on it. It comes with a trailer. But I, can, but I also tie on bluegill color stuff to that. But this one is almost has like a jig on it. It's almost like a jig. They both have their pros and cons. 
but yeah so those are two of my favorites um up here our lake's really dirty so the more color you can get the better uh, a lot of lakes around here are not the greatest colorful there's a couple lakes but i, I, I won't fish them on here very often because they're kind of far away but yeah so i will eventually so i will eventually make another video um on um, like what my go-to combos are um what my favorite rod and reel i use is and all those type of combos um and all that good stuff eventually um i'm going fishing tomorrow well uh, whenever you guys see this video um i'm going fishing the following day i don't know if i'll record it or not i may i'll probably bring stuff but if I start catching them, I'll record, but if we don't catch anything, I won't record. But, yeah. So, with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. This what That was my tackle boxes. Those are kind of what I build my setup off of. i got to get some more, and then I'll redo another tackle box video by the end of the year. See what I lost, of course, by losing, you know, lures and stuff. Hopefully not many. See what else I gain. I'm probably going to gain quite a few too much money on fishing right fishing is not a cheap sport to do so see you guys in the next video and hopefully it's of me fishing we got a lot of clear water we got a lot of open water now there's no more ice on the lake so we can get out there get out on the boat eventually so hopefully soon hopefully the bass start bending here soon and i'll see you guys in the next video hopefully it's out me fishing let's go